What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I'm going to list out for you 40 different side hustles that you should consider picking up going into 2021. I currently make my entire living off of just the first eight. Here we go. Okay, so let's get right into this. The number one way is Skillshare. Now it's Skillshare.com and what you do is you record yourself teaching somebody a brand new skill. So for me, it was stock market trading. And so what I did was I recorded myself, I uploaded it to Skillshare and now Skillshare pays me every single month, depending on how much time people spend watching my videos. So a bunch of people around the world pay Skillshare 12 bucks a month to watch videos on their platform, kind of like Netflix, but for courses and lessons. And depending on how much time they spend on my videos dictates how much I get paid. So, so it's really, really cool. I taught people how to trade the stock market and you can do anything. It could be pottery, it could be drawing, it could be sculpting, whatever you are good at, even if it's bartending, go on there, record yourself making different drinks or how to bartend or different skill sets, make a little course out of it, post it to Skillshare and you will get money based on how much time people spend watching your video. It is actually one of my largest income streams right now and it is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, number two is to sell your course online. So that content that you just bundled together if you don't like Skillshare, you can take it other places. So Udemy is a great place where you can upload your course to Udemy and Udemy will actually drive traffic to their website to sell your course. You can also post it on Teachable and you'll keep a little bit more of the money, but you will have to advertise people to go to your course. And so all this literally involves is you recording yourself saying, here's how you make a cocktail. Here's how you account for something. Here's how you sculpt a statue. Whatever your skill set is, all you have to do is make a video of yourself demonstrating that and you can monetize it either through Skillshare or through Udemy or Teachable, whatever platform works best for you. Now, number three is YouTube. This is sort of similar, but basically you just have to have some content. And once you get to a certain level on YouTube, YouTube will allow you to start putting advertisements inside of your video and you can start to generate some revenue here. This is also a stream that clearly, as you can see, I'm working on right now. Next one is affiliate links. So this is kind of cool, whether you have an Instagram, a Twitter, a YouTube, whatever it is, if you can find some links to resources that you use and that you think your friends or your audience might use, if you can set up an affiliate relationship with that company, you can send them a link and receive some commission for that. So I promote Skillshare pretty heavily because I think it's just a great platform and Skillshare actually pays me for referral links. And so that is one of the easiest ways to get affiliate money. You can also do it through Amazon and there's tons of different videos on how to get affiliate links and how to actually drive traffic to those links. So definitely check it out because it is a phenomenal way to earn some easy passive income. Next one is Amazon FBA. So what I do is I develop my own product. I send it to Amazon. I create a listing on Amazon and then people buy it from Amazon. Amazon and I get a little bit of the profit. The nice thing here is I only have to send product to Amazon once. I don't have to send it to every single customer and deal with the customer service and deal with any of that. I just have to get a bunch of products, send it to Amazon once, and then Amazon deals with the rest of the sales. And so this is really great. It's super user friendly and I'm pretty much hands off except for a, well, once a month I restock on the inventory. Now the next one here is a Discord. What this is is basically a group chat built around a community. So if you're a gamer or you're a bartender, or you're a stock trader, or you're an accountant, whatever your community is, build it up with a Discord chat where people will pay a monthly subscription to join it. And so if you can curate a good enough chat about whatever topic you are focused on, whether it's gaming or hacking or sports or betting or whatever your thing is, build a community around it, charge $5 a month for people to join your community and post content and resources and curate a community in a Discord chat that people will actually pay and get some value from. I do this for the stock market and I basically post all of my analysis on the stocks, which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling and how I feel about political events such as the election and how it's gonna impact the market in my Discord chat. If you're interested in hearing about that, there's definitely a link down below where you can sign up for $5 a month. I actually do this and that is why I recommend it. Now, my last income source that I am actively pursuing and actively doing right now is trading the stock market. There's a couple different ways to do this. One is buying growth companies that you think will grow over the next time period, and that way you can buy in now that, so that hopefully that stock is worth more in the future, or you can also buy dividend paying companies. A dividend paying company is a company that generates a profit right now and sends that back to shareholders in the form of a dividend. It's basically like sharing the profit from the company. Only certain companies do it, however, it's really easy to find them and you 
you can invest directly into them to get consistent and easy passive income. All right, the next one is sports cards and Pokemon cards. Big shout out to Gary V for kind of kicking this off. Logan Paul has kind of populated it recently and even my brother is into Pokemon cards right now. And the idea here, or at least what he's doing, and this is where I'm getting this strategy, is he's buying ungraded cards. So you don't really know what they're worth. Maybe some kids got them or some old guy found them in his basement and he just wants to sell them for a couple hundred bucks because he thinks they're popular. My brother's going out, buying them, and then sending them away and paying the money to get them graded, get them back, and then selling them on eBay because he knows exactly what they're worth at that point. And so sounds like he's doing pretty good on it. I don't know exactly um, how long it's going to last or what the play is going to be long term, but as of right now, that is working out for him. And I think sports cards just, just in general are going up right now. I do not think they're going to stay this high, but I do think they still have a little bit of ways to run because I think more and more people are getting into them. And uh, I think it's going to be a little bit of a wave. They're going to kind of come in and out of trend over the next 20 to 30 years would be my guess, but there's definitely ways to make some money in it. The next one is to sell your photos. If you have cool landscape photos or cool B-roll photos or videos, whatever it is, if you've got some cool images on your phone, definitely you can sell them. You can sell them to iStock Photo as well as Shutterstock. And that way, every time somebody downloads that photo or needs to use that photo, you will receive a small little payment in return. So really, really cool and great for residual income. Next one is virtual assistant. So if you're interested in working from your laptop, working from home, or basically working from anywhere, you can actually be a virtual assistant on your laptop and you can work basically from your computer and you basically just log what's going on on your screen. I think they screen record it depending on which company you actually work for. One that I highly recommend is Virtual Gurus. They're based here in Calgary and they're just a phenomenal company. So if you're interested in working from your laptop, working basically anywhere, and you've got a little bit of a skill set that a business might be able to use, definitely check out virtualgurus.com. I highly recommend them. Next one is building and selling websites for companies. So if you go on Google and you type in bakery, you type in oil shop, you type in mechanic shop, you type in whatever service you can think of, there's bound to be some 35 to 85 year old person that runs that business, has been running it for 10 years and still doesn't have a website. You can YouTube videos on how to build websites and you can sell that personal website for $1,000 all day long. They will pay for it because they finally realize that everybody else has a website and it's probably time for them to get one and you're the guy that rolls around and knocks on their door and says you'll do it for a thousand bucks it is super easy now i've seen a ton of people start little marketing agencies just from selling websites like that next one is to rent a room or your basement on airbnb or whatever other platform you can find this is really great for generating some residual income especially in the winter or in the summers if you're not using a room or you're not using your basement change out the locks install a door spend a couple hundred bucks and set that room or set that basement up to rent it out on airbnb and you can generate up to a hundred or two hundred dollars per night that's three or four thousand dollars per month which is absolutely amazing you almost don't even need to work at that point I wish I could do this a little bit sooner but I am preparing for it right now this is definitely going to be on my radar in the future as an investment but as of right now but as of right now I haven't stepped into it okay next one is dog walking I know this sounds kind of funny but imagine how easy it would be to go pick up a couple of dogs in your neighborhood take them for a little walk and get paid to do it it is absolutely amazing there's an app called Rover. It is fantastic. You create a profile and you literally get paid to walk dogs. It's absolutely great. Next one is grocery shopping. So what you do here is you sign up for this app called Instacart and then you go around and you shop at different grocery stores. You pick up specific grocery orders and you deliver it to people's house. It's kind of like skip the dishes or Uber Eats, but specifically for groceries. It takes definitely a little bit more work, but I think you can also make a little bit more money. Next one is food delivery. So if you're not into shopping for groceries and you just want to pick up the meals, definitely check out skip the dishes and Uber Eats. I have two friends that do this and they make a decent living without a doubt. Okay, the next one is ride sharing. So depending on where you live, you can sign up for Uber, Lyft, or Grab. And as long as you have a vehicle that meets the requirements, you can actually drive people around almost like a taxi. Definitely not a new one, but it is something that probably generates the most revenue out of almost anything on this list. Now the next one here is maybe my personal favorite. This one is the real grind. This is snow removal and lawn care. So there is an application called Mo Snow Pros. There's also a couple other apps out there where you can basically get paid to go around and shovel and mow people's lawns. So depending on what season it is and depending on where you live, you can either shovel, you can mow, you can do yard work, but you can sign up for this. You can perform manual labor and you can actually get paid pretty, pretty good. 
Okay, house sitting, housesitter.com, you guys gotta check it out. This is a website where you literally get paid to sit in somebody's house and watch over their house, check the pipes, make sure everything's okay, and usually look after some pets as well. Not a big deal, but you get paid to do it. It's usually when somebody goes on vacation or goes away for work, whatever the situation may be, and they just need somebody to look after their place. This is a fantastic way, especially if you like moving around and trying new places and living in different neighborhoods. Absolutely fantastic app and a nice way to make some residual income. Okay, 3D printing. This is one that I've seen pop up a little bit recently. You can actually buy 3D printers on Amazon now for as low as $350. I'm sure they're even cheaper in the United States. And you can offer printing services online and to businesses. We've seen this pop up all over the place when it comes to 3D printing masks or face masks or different types of PPE. There has been several stories about people starting 3D printing businesses just to help with the PPE and different products. And it is absolutely amazing what you can make with these. You can basically sell products or or some types of equipment or hardware, whatever it is, you can sell it to almost anybody. It's absolutely amazing. So if you have just a little desk, that's all you have to work with, I highly recommend checking out some YouTube videos on 3D printing. All right, so the next one here is garage sailing. So this is the Gary Vaynerchuk original. I think he is the king of garage sailing. And basically what he says is go to the garage sales, buy the things that are like 10, 20, maybe 30 bucks, or even as low as $1, buy them super, super cheap at the garage sales and turn them around and flip them on eBay. And he's basically the king of this. He even has videos where he actually goes out and does this. And if you're interested in seeing somebody else do it, check out Ray as the Entrepreneur. The guy's an absolute legend and a king. And he has several videos where he goes out and does this. Okay, so the next one here is podcast. So you can start a podcast on anchor.com. It has the software, it has the platform, it has absolutely everything you will need to start a podcast. And it will even allow you to sell advertisements within that podcast as long as you have the right banking information. It is so cool. As long as you have a message to say that you can record, you can use anchor.com to start your podcast and you can already start selling advertisements as soon as you launch. It's, it's really, really great. Okay, the next one is testing different products. You can go to a website called usertesting.com, you create an account and they will basically send you different products, either digital, physical, whatever it is, and you will get paid to test out new things and share your opinion on how you feel about them. Really, really amazing website and they have paid a lot of money for you to just test out new things, which is something I am a huge fan of. Next one is content writing. Now there are several different places you can do this. There's medium.com, iWriter.com, and textbroker.com where businesses, people, blogs, whatever, Whatever it is, we'll write in and they will say, hey, I need somebody to write about this topic. And then you can bid on that job, you can sign up for that job, or you can just write and apply for that job. You can do whatever you want and you can make money by just writing content. And all three of these platforms will pay you to write that content just in different ways. So if you're interested in writing, you like doing articles, you like doing news, you like doing whatever it is, you like putting your mind to the paper, these websites are something that you can make a ton of money on. I've seen people make $5,000 a month on medium.com same thing with iWriter it's absolutely insane so you have to definitely check it out I am NOT a writer I'm a video and visual guy so unfortunately medium didn't work for me but I've seen tons of people do extremely well on it next one is virtual tours so check out matterport.com they have some apps they also have some hardware that will allow you to do virtual tours so you can walk around a museum a house wherever you want you can turn it into a virtual tour that somebody else can access from their phone or online and you can sell that as a service to real estate agents to your friends selling their house to a museum to wherever it is that somebody may want to do a virtual tour instead of actually going there and physically checking it out it is an amazing tool and you can turn it into a nice little side hustle Okay, so the next one is Fiverr.com. And so what you do is you go to that website, literally Fiverr.com, you create an account and you can sell your online services. So let's say you're really good at video editing or you're really good at Photoshop. You can post your job on there for whatever price you want and people can hire you to perform that tiny little job. It's really great for small little gigs and you can make a ton of money on it. I've seen people make over $5,000 a day on it. Okay, now the next one is Upwork.com and basically what you do is you create an account and you find ongoing contracts for work. And so I have actually hired somebody off of Upwork. I pay them a reasonable wage and basically they work for me 10 hours a week and they basically do whatever I want and it's on a contract basis. So Upwork take care of all of that. And so the difference here is that Fiverr is great for one tiny little gig, but if you need somebody to help you out on an ongoing basis, Upwork is definitely the platform to use. 
Now the next one is Ruckify. Ruckify is really cool because you can rent out your belongings. So let's say you have some skis or you have a paddleboard or a canoe or a kayak or whatever it is sitting in your garage, you can post it on ruckify.com and you can rent it out there for an hourly, a daily or a weekly rate. So people are renting out campers, they're renting out pontoon boats, they're renting out their drills, they're renting out whatever you want. You can do it on Ruckify. You can also ensure your goods so there's absolutely no risk to you. I highly recommend it and there's a discount code below if you want to sign up. Okay, next one is Playtest, and this is really cool if you're a gamer. So you can actually test out brand new video games. So you go to playtest.com, you have to create an account and you can apply, and then you can get hired to actually test out brand new video games and provide your feedback. So if you like to game, this is definitely the one for you. This is the one that you should check out and you should definitely get in there because they pay well. Okay, so the next one is teaching English. So you go to cambly.com and you apply to be a teacher and then you can teach English to students all around the world. Everything is done through webcam, so all you have to do is be in class on time, depending on where you're at in the world, and make sure that you are sober enough to teach these kids English through the computer. Next one is to rent out your vehicle. So there's two different websites. There's Turo and there's RVZ where you can actually go on and you can rent your car, your vehicle, your truck, or your RV, your camper, your motorhome, whichever one you prefer. Turo is the car, RVZ is the camper or motorhome one. And you can actually go on there and rent it out for a daily rate. So if you work from home or you're not gonna need it one day, or you have a spare vehicle, this is the best way to make a little bit of extra money off of that spare vehicle. This one will actually generate you some instant money right away especially if you have a car that you're not using, just laying around. Okay, so the next one is vending machines. And if you haven't seen Ray as the entrepreneur on YouTube, this guy is absolutely amazing. He basically got famous from the vending machine business. And what he does is he buys the machines, he sets them up at local hotspots, hairdressers, businesses, skating rinks, and he sells candy and soft drinks and different things through them. And he's done amazingly well, especially with his YouTube channel talking about them. But I've seen a lot of people make some steady, residual, passive income using vending machines. So if it is something you might be interested in, definitely check it out. You can buy the machine pretty cheap and if you can get them in a good location that is seems to be the key to it if you can get them in a good location they are basically a cash cow so super super cool business Okay, next one is listening to music. There's a company called Music X-Ray. Just Google it and you can find the website on it. And if you can apply for an account and get approved, you will actually get paid to listen and judge music. Now, you do have to prove that you have a little bit of experience in the industry or something to do with music. But if you can get approved, they will actually pay you to listen and judge music, which is just so cool. Okay, next one is creating branded content. So there's a website called clearvoice.com and you can create content for businesses. All you have to do is apply as a freelancer and then apply for the jobs that you wanna work for and brands that need content or videos or pictures, whatever it is, you can apply for those jobs and you can actually make content for those brands and get paid extremely well for it. Okay, next one is a home inspector. Now, I actually think this is probably one of the coolest ones on the list. All you have to do is research the certifications for what you need in your area, depending on where you live. Go get those certifications, actually do the course and get the knowledge and learn the craft of home inspections. And then you can sell your services as a part-time side hustle. A lot of these guys are making 150 to 200 bucks an hour when they get the customer and they go to do these inspections. So if this is just a part-time gig for you, you can make some absolutely amazing money. Okay, next one is test applications. So if you go to testbirds.com, and create an account, you can basically be the guinea pig for brand new up and coming applications. So the ones that you see on your cell phone that are coming out, you can be the guinea pig that says, yeah, this is easy to use. This is hard to use. I don't understand this. And I don't like this button right here. If you can put that together in your mind and convey it on a sheet of paper or to somebody else, this is going to be a great application for you because you can make a ton of money just reviewing new apps that are coming out and you can be on the forefront of what's happening as well. Okay, next one is transcribe to text. So basically what you're doing here is you're turning audio into text. So you listen to something and type it out. And you can do this at rev.com. You apply to be a freelancer for their company and you can get paid to literally listen to some audio file and turn it into a text document. It's absolutely great, especially if you're good with a keyboard. Next one is to sell products online. So you can create an Etsy store, you can create a Shopify store. There's tons of different platforms that will allow you and facilitate you to sell products online. All you have to do is import something from China, you can find a local supplier, you can find something unique, you can find a manufacturer to make something for you. Find something that is unique, that serves a purpose, that solves a problem, and you can find a way to sell it online as well.
Next one is to make audiobooks. So if you go to acx.com, you can create a profile and you can actually audition to be the voice in audiobooks. So it's really cool. Anybody that writes a book is gonna need somebody to read it out and you can be the person that actually reads it out. You do have to create a profile, you do have to apply for these audiobooks, but it does pay you very well, especially when you get selected. Okay, you guys, and the last side hustle on my entire list is to share your opinion by downloading the Google Opinions app. And when you download it, you'll go on there and you'll start to complete surveys. And for every survey you complete, you will get paid. It's absolutely amazing. You can do it on the bus, in the doctor's office. Whenever you have a little bit of spare time, you can make some money using the Google Opinions app. So it is absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend it. And if you guys got any value out of this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button or leave a comment down below. I sincerely appreciate it. It sincerely helps my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.